guys, welcome back to my channel. Angela here. Uh, for those of you who may be new, I'm Angela and I'm on a weight loss journey to lose about approximately 80 pounds, but overall to get healthy uh, in my weight loss spiritually, emotionally, uh, just in all aspects of my life. Um, but today is another way in Wednesday. It's the 13th week. Um, and so let's get right into it. I lost 1.8 pounds. So I'm super happy about that. I lost 1.8 pounds. I am now a total weight loss of 19 pounds down. Ugh, I'm just one pound under 20. But anyways, 19 pounds down. I'm happy to see that because last week I had gained and I was pretty upset about that because I was working out a lot last week and um, just to see a gain was really frustrating. So to see a loss is um, makes me happy. I'm happy to see that. And I am now at 198.2. So I'm back in the 100s. Um, yay! <laughs> I hope I stay there. I really hate seeing the two in front of my weight. Um, so 198.2, I'm happy about that. Uh, workout wise, I worked out four times last week. My usual goal is to hit five days a week, um, but I hit four. There was one day that I just wasn't feeling too great and I, I just didn't work out. So uh, kind of bummed that I did that, but it's okay. You know, this is life and life isn't always perfect. So we just strive to do the best that we can, right? And that's what I'm trying to do, the best that I can. And on some of those days when I'm not feeling the greatest, sometimes I have a battle whether to work out or not work out. Um, but that day I didn't work out because I just wasn't feeling too good. Um, but I was able to work out four times and I'm actually excited to share with you all you know how I've been doing treadmill week seven, which is run four, walk one, uh, four times. I finally was able to complete it one time. I was able to do it once and I did really good. I was at an incline of two. I was at a pace of 4.5. So I don't even think you can call that a run. That's probably a jog, <laughs> but for me, it's running. <laughs> and, um, I did that at for three times, and then on the fourth round, I stayed at the two incline, but I went between 4.5 and 4.3. So it was still a jog for me, just a slower jog. Um, I have a, I think I have a really short stride, so that going that slow is still a jog for me. A lot of people would probably call that a fast walk, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy about it because I didn't stop, I didn't walk for me. I stayed jogging and I was able to complete it. Um, so I was super happy about that. Um, I was only able to complete it once and I like to be able to complete a treadmill program three times. So I'm gonna keep doing week seven and um, I'm hoping that the next three, or I'm not sure how many times I'm gonna do it this week, so two or three times um, that I complete all four rounds without stopping and then I'll increase to the next level. Um, I'm continuing with Chalene Extreme. I feel like I'm getting stronger. I'm able to increase my weights, not by a lot, but by a pound or two. Um, so I'm slowly increasing in that area. And it is amazing because when we're doing the weight lifting, you're lifting so slowly, it just feels like it weighs a ton. And I sweat like crazy and I'm like shaking as I do it. So I know it's a really good workout to just strengthen my muscles and just uh, for my whole body in general. Um, and then she also has, on the Shaleen Extreme, she also has the two cardio days. Those are often, um, let me think, one of them is about 50 minutes long, and that one goes between cardio and lifting light weights. Um, and when you're lifting the light weights, that's like your recovery time to catch your breath, and then you get right back into the cardio. And then on the other cardio day, it's about 28 minutes, 30 minutes long. And that one is extreme cardio. You do like back to back to back different moves. And then you do like five different moves and then you're able to stop and get your, catch your breath. And then she does six more moves and then you stop and catch your breath. It is hard, 
but it's a great workout. I know it's increasing my cardio, um, my breathing, my resistance, um, just how long I can last on uh, my stamina on, on doing these cardio workouts. Um, so yeah, continuing with Shaleen Extreme, continuing with treadmill week seven. And um, I did do my measurements today. I lost 1.7 inches, so I'm super happy about that to see some inches being lost. Uh, my biggest loss was in my thighs. Um, I can't wait for it to start coming off of my butt and like my little wings or my thighs that kind of pop out on the side. <laughs> But that's just, um, that's really not moving too much yet. So <sighs> skinny on top, not skinny, but smaller on top and smaller on the bottom. And then just my hips and waist and butt and it's just where I gain all my weight. So that's really frustrating, but I'm just going to keep going. That's the way God made me. I need to love the body that he gave me. So just keep going and try to be the best me that I can be right now. Um... Diet-wise, I feel like I did pretty good this week. Um, I did go over three times out of the seven days, but it wasn't bad. On one day, remember my total calories is 1,660. And on one day I went over by 66 calories. On another... Sorry about that, guys. My battery went dead on the camera. I didn't realize how long it had been since I had last charged it. <laughs> So I gotta charge the battery again. But anyways, I was talking about my diet and how I had only gone over three days and um, I think I had already mentioned that one day I went over 66, one day I went over five calories, and another day I went over nine calories. So um, not too bad. I'm working on getting down to that 1,660. I don't know why it seems so much harder to hit the 1,660 calorie goal um, from when I was at 1,710 calories. It's only a 50 calorie difference, but I feel like I'm struggling with this calorie range much more than I was with the 1,710. Uh, most likely it's just a mental thing. I have a mental issue with it, <laughs> but I'm working on getting there. Um, I don't want to decrease my calories anymore. I don't see any reason for it. Um, I don't want to ruin my metabolism. That's how a lot of us ruin our metabolism because we decrease our calories by so much. You know, I hear so many people that are doing the 1,200 calorie diet. Now, um, everybody's bodies are a little bit different. If someone who's a lot smaller than me and um, they're just looking to lose maybe 5 or 10 pounds. They could probably do that for a while, hit that 1,200 calorie, and not mess up their metabolism. Um, but I have to say, for me and the amount of weight loss I need to do, if I were to do 1,200 calories, I think I would really slow my metabolism down because um, I just my body's used to so much more and it'll think that I'm starving. Um, so I'm, I'm good at 1,660 right now. I mean, I'm actually struggling with it a little bit, but, um, I feel like it's a good goal to hit and I don't want to go any lower than that, to be honest. Um, hopefully I could adjust it with the amount of exercise I'm doing. So if I eat 1,660 calories, but I'm doing exercise and it's burning off calories, it's putting me in the deficit that I need to be able to lose um, to be able to lose weight, or hopefully a pound a week. Um, if you've been following me throughout this journey, you probably know though I don't. It's like I don't lose a pound a week. I I lose maybe a pound and a half, and then I'll gain a little, or I'll um, not lose anything at all, and then I lose a pound and a half. So I. I fluctuate on how I lose my weight and I really need to get used to that because it, boy the mind games that I have going on in my head and the struggles that the battles that I have um, internally is just terrible so that's why I'm trying to just relax to try to you know not think of the whole big picture because that's what I was doing last week I was thinking of the whole big picture and it was overwhelming me just thinking of the amount of weight loss I needed to do 
um, it was getting me depressed and I was getting upset, you know, with the slow progress. But when I stop doing that and just take it one day at a time, you know, and just look at the little accomplishments that I'm doing, whether I hit my calorie goals or I worked out and felt good about it, or I especially worked out and felt great that I was able to finish the treadmill routine. I mean, that's a huge um, accomplishment for me. I, I was gasping for air for there for a while and to be able to finish and I was, I was breathing hard, but I wasn't gasping. I felt pretty good. Um, one time in my life, I felt that runner's high. And it was years and years and years ago, a long time ago. Um, I don't even know, probably like 20 years ago. <laughs> but I felt a runner's high. And I look forward to the day that I can feel that runner's high. If you've never felt it, it's like you feel like you could run forever and you don't you don't get tired. You just keep going. And I remember when I had my runner's high thinking, I'm usually tired by now. And I feel so, I felt so great. And I just kept running and kept running and kept running. And it was an amazing feeling. I've only felt it that one time. So I look forward to the day that I could feel a runner's high again. Um, if any of you are runners and you get that runner's high, if you could share and you know how the you know how you get it, if you could share a comment down below, I'd love to know, because it's just this feeling like you could just keep going and you're not tired and you feel strong and you feel like you have the air that you need to keep going and um, it was an amazing feeling. But yeah, I haven't felt that runner's high in a while, so I gotta uh, gotta keep on running until I can feel that runner's high. But I'm improving. I'm doing. I'm doing good. I'm gonna keep up with week seven, um, and try to do, try to run the whole program the way I'm supposed to, and we'll see how we do and and if we can increase next week or next way and day anyways. Uh, I work again tonight, so hopefully I'll do okay with that. Um, it's really been working with doing the. Um, my lunch at 3 a.m. and then just not eating lunch during the day because I'm sleeping. Um, I guess the hardest part is when I'm awake on those days that I um, am coming home from work. You feel like you're hungover. I don't know if that's the word, hungover or um, you just feel like very off. And one of the things I get is really hungry. So when I get home, I have to really be um, on top of the calories for my breakfast because I come home very hungry and then when I wake up from sleeping that day I wake up really hungry um, and that's when I'll allow myself to maybe have a snack before I make dinner or if not I make an early dinner and just enjoy a pretty good sized dinner but try to stay within my calories so that day is always rough for me it just plays um, it wreaks havoc with my with me emotionally and how I'm tired and just yeah you feel like you're hungover and just not all with it so you don't feel as strong to say no to um, to yummy foods um, that's something I'm still battling in my house you know my sons and my husband are not dieting they're still eating the way they want to eat um, but I feel like and they're gonna watch this video so. Hi, honey. Hi, kids. But I feel like I'm doing good for them, too, because when I go grocery shopping or make my meal plan, I'm buying food that I know I could fit into my calories or I could work to be healthy um, or healthier, and they're eating it. So it kind of helps, I think, for them, too, that they're eating a little healthier. I mean, they eat a lot more of it than I do. <laughs> but they're eating a little bit healthier just with the um, the meal planning that I've been doing. I'm trying to improve on my meal planning. I haven't been doing the greatest on that, but this last week made a meal plan and went to the grocery store, got everything on the meal plan. Um, and so I'm trying to do cook every day. Uh, to, today is kind of the hardest because I'm usually getting ready at the time I'm making dinner. Um, so, and I get ready for work. Uh, for those of you are, that are new, I work night shift. I'm a nurse and I work night shift. Uh, my shift starts at 7 p.m. and it ends about 7.30 p or 7.30 a.m. 
but usually I go a little over. So it's between 7.30, 8.30 a.m. I'm, I'm on my way home. So that's my, my work schedule. And um, so it kind of throws me off a little bit on, on eating. But as long as I have a routine, it helps. So I encourage you guys to have a routine. Keep up with those meal plans. Um, it really helps me when I see other people do meal plans or what they make. It really helps me to get ideas or just to stay encouraged to keep up with doing my meal plans. So I encourage you to have meal plans. Um, and I've been thinking about uh, those of you with young kids and exercise. You know, it's hard to kind of work out when you're when you have a a lot of little kids around you that you've got to take care of and be mommy for. So I encourage you to just play with them. Playing with them is exercise. <laughs> Oh, if you play like a kid, you're going to get some exercise. So just take time out from doing your regular chores or the things that you have to do throughout the day and go play with your kids. That's, that's a workout in itself. Um, but otherwise, you guys, this was a good week. Uh, emotionally, I, I tried to improve from last week and tried to get into a better mood and tried to um, just keep up with my exercise and my diet and, and logging all my food in my fitness pal, um, which I'm doing really good at. That's something I'm really happy about. But uh, I encourage you just to keep going, keep working on that weight loss. Join me, join me in the struggle. <laughs> but keep going, um, don't give up, it's worth it. Um, all the sacrifice, you know, just not eating the junk food, uh, exercising, making that time to exercise, uh, planning ahead food-wise, it's worth it because your health is worth it. Um, don't wait until you start having uh, really bad issues that can affect you. Do something now. Get healthy. Do it for you. Do it for your kids. Do it for the Lord. Um, do it. Just You're worth it. Do it. It's worth it to get healthy. And that's what I'm telling myself too. Even though it's a struggle and I kept saying how hard it is, how hard it is. It's really, it's not hard, but it's hard. The part that's not hard, you know you need to work out. You know you need to eat less and watch what you eat. That is routine. That is day in and day out. The hard part is the internal struggle, the mental and emotional part of it all. Of, you know, wanting to eat more, wanting to eat you know, foods that are not good for you. That's the struggle. That's the hard part. It's the internal battle inside that you have to have. Um, and hopefully, ultimately, what wins out is you choose to be healthy and to put good things into your body. Boy, that saying, you are what you eat, it sure is true. And as you get older, it really starts to show. So eat healthy and be good to your body and take care of yourselves. Well, I think I've been talking quite a long time, so I'm sorry if this video is uh, kind of long, but I encourage you to be good to yourselves, get a little workout in, eat good this week, and just um, remember, you guys, it's one day at a time, one pound at a time. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's do this together. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up. That really helps me out. And um, comment down below if you have any anything you'd like to share or talk to me about. Um, but overall, you guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye-bye.